Going back to school can be a great way to shortcut the process of landing a job in commercial real estate, especially for people who are transitioning from a different industry or coming from real estate, but not necessarily the finance or investment sides of the business. A master's degree can help you build your network quickly, open up doors at some of the top companies in the industry, and give you a significant bump in pay just for having this on your resume. But even though graduate school can be a helpful tool to break into the business, there are a lot of options out there and not all universities or programs within those universities are created equal and where you end up landing a job, who you end up working with, and how much money you ultimately end up making can all be heavily determined by where you go to school. So to get ahead of this process and to make sure you're making the best decision for you if you're considering going back to school to break into the commercial real estate industry, in this video, I wanna cover the three biggest things to focus on when choosing a graduate school program and how to find the degree that's going to provide the most efficient path possible to get you to where you wanna go. So going back to school is a major commitment of time, energy, and money. And if you're choosing to go this route, it's important to be intentional about where you're going and why you're choosing to go there. And since the ultimate goal for most people who pursue the grad school path is either to land a high paying job after graduation or to build capital relationships to raise equity and build their own company in the future, my first piece of advice when choosing a graduate degree program is to focus on pursuing schools that have a significant presence in the geographic market that you want to end up in and ideally within the specific companies that you would want to work for after graduation. The alumni network you'll build in a graduate real estate program is one of the most valuable parts of the entire experience and your peers and university alma mater are very likely going to be the people that end up opening doors for you with internships and full-time job opportunities, which means where these people are working and the companies these people are working for should heavily weigh in your decision when choosing where to go to school. LinkedIn is a great resource to get a sense of the alumni presence in a given market and LinkedIn's advanced search feature can help you find people that have graduated from the specific universities you're considering, that are also working in the commercial real estate industry, and that are also located in the specific city or cities that you want to end up in. And from there, once you've narrowed down this list, you can get a much better sense of the caliber of firms that these people are working for, what their career trajectory has looked like after graduation, and whether or not you would want to follow a similar career path yourself. The goal here is to get clear about where you want to end up and to do your research on the schools with alumni that are already doing what you want to be doing in the city you want to be working in after graduation and the schools with alumni that have built entire careers that you might want to emulate. Now, even if you're clear on the general part of the country you want to focus on, the best schools in the US tend to be clustered in core gateway markets like New York, Boston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, and Washington, DC. So it's very likely you'll have more than just one option, even if you have your site set on one specific metro. And to get a better sense of which school might be best for you if there are multiple different options that can get you to your target city or working at your target company, the next thing I'd recommend is to really dig into the data and look through the most recent employment report at each school you're considering. Every program is going to put this document together in a slightly different way, but in most cases, an employment report is going to show things like salary statistics, signing bonuses, job disciplines that graduates are working in, and even specific companies that have hired from the school. Differences in graduate pay can also be significant between universities, and just having a certain pedigree on your resume over another can sometimes result in tens of thousands of dollars in additional compensation in just your first job out of grad school, so this is an extremely important research point when making a decision around where you want to enroll. Many employment reports will also clearly show the different cities or geographic regions their graduates have gone on to work in, the average or median salary in each region as well, and even the percentage of students that accepted job offers within three or six months after graduation or even before receiving their degree, which can also give you a great sense of how in-demand graduates are from each of these programs you're considering and how quickly you can expect to find a job coming out of each school. 
Now, aside from each school's geographic presence and alumni employment data, we can't end this list without addressing the decision around which type of graduate degree to pursue. And on this note, my recommendation is to make sure you're choosing your program focus based on your level of commitment to the real estate industry specifically and how much time you're willing to dedicate to further your education. If you're going to grad school with the intent to break into the commercial real estate industry after graduation, you essentially have two options, a general MBA or a focused master's in real estate, and each have their pros and their cons. As a first glaring difference between the two options, not every school will offer a master's in real estate degree, so going this route can narrow down your pool of potential programs and can end up taking some of the top schools in the country completely off the table that you might have otherwise wanted to target if pursuing a general MBA. Many people also go back to school with the intent to go into real estate, but then decide to pivot and switch their focus after just a few months in school, so if you think you want to go into real estate, but also also think you might want to work in sectors like investment banking, private equity, or consulting, a general MBA program is going to give you significantly more optionality if you decide to go a different route. However, with all of that said, for people who are sold on a career in commercial real estate and people who want to minimize their time out of the workforce, a master's in real estate program can be an excellent option to pursue and can often cut out a lot of the fluff that inherently comes with a general MBA. Dozens of master's in real estate degree programs have popped up in the US over the last 10 to 15 years, and many of these programs offer accelerated degree tracks that can sometimes be completed in just 12 months or less, making the hit from both the tuition and lost salary perspective significantly easier to swallow than the time and financial commitment you'd have to make to a traditional two-year program. These degree tracks also tend to cut out a lot of the core curriculum requirements that would otherwise be mandatory in a traditional MBA degree, which is a big plus for people who want to get through the academic portion of school as quickly as possible and want to make sure they can place all of their focus on the material that is directly relevant to their specific career goal. Ultimately, if you know you're going to stay committed to the commercial real estate career path during grad school, you want to condense your time out of the workforce to the shortest time period possible, and there's a reputable master's in real estate program in the general region of the country you want to build your career in, this could be a great option for you and can help you shortcut this process. However, if you're not completely sold on real estate as a career path long term, you want to open yourself up to schools like Harvard and Stanford that don't currently have a dedicated master's in real estate degree program, and you also don't mind the extra time and cost that often comes with a traditional two-year graduate degree, a general MBA could also be a great path for you to pursue and might be the better option. At the end of the day, if you decide to go the graduate school route, you'll want to make sure you're getting your money's worth, and I hope this was helpful if you're trying to figure out where you want to focus your search and what programs might be the best fit for your specific situation. And whether you're planning on going to grad school in the future or trying to avoid grad school at all costs, regardless of the path you choose, if you want to learn the technical skill sets you'll need to make a career move into the commercial real estate industry, as always, make sure to check out our all-in-one membership training platform platform breaking a CRE Academy. A membership to the Academy will give you instant access to over 120 hours of video training on real estate financial modeling and analysis. You'll get access to hundreds of practice Excel interview exam questions, sample acquisition case studies, and you'll also get access to the breaking a CRE analyst certification exam, which covers topics like real estate pro forma and development modeling, commercial real estate lease modeling, equity waterfall modeling, and many other real estate financial analysis concepts that will help you prove to employers that you have what it takes to tackle the responsibilities of an analyst or associate at a top real estate firm. And if you like this video and want to see more content on this channel on grad school or university options in general, make sure to hit the like button to let me know and let me know in the comments your thoughts on grad school and if you've already made the leap into a graduate education, why you made that decision. As always, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more videos like this every single week and I'll see you in the next video.